Emo 2023, we are on the robo job stand, first in CNC automation. We're just gonna take a walk around the stand, and as you can see, I'm in front of the robo job. This is the Millicis. This is the first look that we can see at Emo 2023. We see robo jobs absolutely everywhere, but this one, sorry, is a bit different. As you can see, we've got the Millicis part loader. So these parts will go straight into your um, pneumatic chuck, your pneumatic vice that we've got on our mill machine. But this is brand new. As you can see, we've got a zero point system right here. Let me just take one of these off. And as you can see, it's already clamped. It's already got a zero point. It's already got its datum. So basically the robo job robot basically just puts it in on the zero point and can lift it straight back off. If we go and have a look inside, oh goodness me, if we go and have a look inside, you can see the pneumatic vice that you can put your um, material in, your raw material, which will then be made into a part and take it out. And here is your zero point. So you don't, if you've got a specialist part that needs to be exactly in a place time and time again, this is the automation system for you. So that's a little bit on the RoboJob Millicis come across. And this is also a world exclusive, right? We have got the Kobe who I met the other day. And this is the first um, RoboJob CNC that comes out. Basically, this is the introduction to automation. And as you can see, we've got a setup of a lathe in here. It's going to be working around. No lasers on this one. So I can come in and he can look how close I can get. Okay. And basically, all you have to do is touch him and he will stop. But obviously, it's a demo piece. So it's still running around. But as you can see, how many parts that we've got on this project. So basically, I, I presume these are egg cups. So meet the Kobe DIY Cobot and it's got two on each. And if we can count, two, three, four, five, six, up to 27 stands that we've got here. But obviously it depends on your job, it depends on your setup. Um, but this, if you're looking to get into automation, this is so user-friendly, basically set up, go. And also it's movable. If you come around here, you can see that we can stick a pallet truck under there. So it can be moved from machine to machine easy plug and play stop and go what else more do you want and this is what i'm really excited about come around here come around here because this is just absolutely epic this is the tower system look at this thing go so basically we've got so many things going on in this project we've got a robot as you can see at the back it's actually picking up a new set of jaws to be put onto your lathe right you can just see the size of it as well. It is just everything automation that you can possibly think of on this stand. So we've got a lathe chuck here. So basically your CNC lathe will be set up here. Over here, we've got a setup of a mill. So you've got your pneumatic chuck here. And basically, as you can see, this robot can do everything. Robot, gripper, uh, robot gripper jaws. Okay, so it's gonna go in. It's gonna pinch them and it's gonna move it and take it off. Move it around, do what it needs to do, spin. Uh, and basically as well, you can move from a mill to a lathe. So look how easy and simple it is. I spoke to Ashley Page about this as well. He's got some contracts in the UK and this is going to absolutely fly. Come around the back. We've got racking systems here. And this is the back of the jaws that you can see. So these are the robot jaws that it can pick up. So you've got different jaws for different types of jobs. And this here is just extraordinary. This has got, how many has it got? I can't even count. This has got over 27 drawers. And if you look, they're all different components. So we've got components on drawer one, drawer two, drawer three. On drawer four, on drawer four we've also got a vice setup. So you can have anything on this uh, on this setup, and I just think it's completely not bonkers, but it's just a a technology first that I've seen. I've never seen anything like this. And for Hydrofeed, 
to be showcasing this at their place is just absolutely fantastic. I was going to speak to Frederick over there, but he's currently with customers, so I'm going to leave him alone. But if you're interested, get at Hydrofeed in the UK.